select from seven group enrollment types to arrange groups in your course. This tutorial shows the options for enrolling users in groups. Select Number of Groups, No Auto Enrollments to create a specific number of groups. You select which and how many learners you enroll in each group. Use this enrollment type when you know how many groups you will create and which learners you want in each group. For example, your class is working on group research projects. There are four possible topics from which students can choose. You create four groups, one for each corresponding topic, and assign learners to each topic. Select groups of number to create the minimum number of groups needed to place learners in groups of a specified size. In the Group Options section, you can define whether enrollment is automatic or manual, and whether learners are randomized or added to groups in alphabetical order. If you enable auto-enrollment for new learners, and all of the existing groups are at maximum capacity, the new learners are added to a new group. All new learners are added to the same group until it is full. If you disable auto-enrollment into groups, the system creates the minimum number of groups needed for the class list but does not enroll any learners. When you enroll learners after groups are set up, they are added to the same group until it is full. Use this enrollment type when you know how many learners you want in each group. For example, your course has an associated lab. The lab is small and can only accommodate three students and one teaching assistant at a time. You use the groups of number enrollment type to divide the 10 learners into the minimum number of groups necessary to host the lab. Select number of groups to create a specified number of groups. If you enable auto enrollment into groups, learners are added using a bricklaying algorithm regardless of whether they are enrolled before or after you create the groups. That is, if a class has 15 users and three groups, the first user is added to group 1, the second to group 2, and so on. If you disable auto-enrollment into groups, the specified number of groups are created, but no learners are enrolled. Use this enrollment type when you know how many groups you want to create, but want the system to place learners in groups. For example, your class is taking a trip to the campus observatory. The observatory has four days that it can give demonstrations. You use the number of groups enrollment type to randomly divide the learners into groups. Select groups of number self-enrollment to automatically create the minimum number of groups needed to accommodate users in groups of a specified size. Learners choose the group they want to enroll in from the groups page. Use this enrollment type when you know how many users you want in each group but you want to allow users to choose their own groups. For example, your class is doing group presentations. You ask the learners to enroll themselves in one of four groups so they can choose the classmates with whom they want to work. Select Number of Groups Self-Enrollment to create a specified number of groups in which learners can enroll. Learners choose the group they want to enroll in from the Groups page. Use this enrollment type when you want to make a specific number of groups available for learners to join. For example, your class is doing cumulative assignments. There are four topics from which learners can choose. You use the number of groups self-enrollment enrollment type to allow the learners to choose their own groups. Select number of groups capacity of number self-enrollment to create a specified number of groups with a specified number of enrollments per group. Learners choose the group they want to enroll in from the Groups page. Use this enrollment type when you know how many groups you will create, you want to allow learners to choose their own groups, and you want each group to have a maximum number of users. For example, your class is doing group presentations. There are four presentation topics from which learners can choose. You allow the learners to choose their own groups. You create four groups and limit the groups to four members each. Select single user member specific group when you want to create journal type groups with a single user where the first name and last name of the user is the name of the group. 
When a new learner is enrolled in the course, a group is automatically created for them. Use this enrollment type when you want to create a private journaling space for a single user. For example, your class is doing an individual research project. One of the requirements is that learners keep a journal along the way so you know their project is on track. You choose the single user, member specific group type to create a group for each user enrolled in your course. When a new user is enrolled in the course, a private group will automatically be created for that user. Select from seven group enrollment types to arrange groups in your course. Number of groups, no auto enrollments. Groups of number. Number of groups. Groups of number, self enrollment. Number of groups, self enrollment. Number of groups, capacity of number, self enrollment. Or single user, member specific groups.